Brad Tang Jit Muangnon is a Muay Thai fighter currently competing in one championship and is the reigning one flyweight Muay Thai world champion. He has had over 300 fights, over 260 wins, 40 losses and around 10 draws. He started fighting at the age of 8 to earn money and help his family and at 14 he moved to Bangkok to join the Jit Muangnon gym. Brad Tang is a Muay Mat stylist, a puncher low kicker and he has become renowned for his relentless pressure, durability and punching power. At only 24 years of age, it could be argued his best years are still ahead of him, but with his damage taking style, there remains the question, how long can he continue to fight in what seems, at times, a reckless manner? Either way, he is an unbelievably skilled and dangerous fighter. His crowd pleasing style has made him a fan favorite. As with all Thai fighters, Rod Tang has solid fundamentals. He can clinch, teep and mid-kick very well. He has great defence when he chooses to utilise it. And because of his experience, having 300 plus fights, he has pretty much seen it all and is phased by very little. In Muay Thai, rounds 3, 4 and 5 are the most important, especially in the stadiums where gambling is a huge part of the sport. In the first round, not a lot will happen, so many Muay Thai fighters will be deemed as slow starters, but they know how to up the gears better than any. As Rod Tang is a pressure fighter, most of his success comes from backing his opponents to the ropes or cage, and then unleashing his combinations. This becomes more difficult in 1FC, with the circular cage, as it is much harder to trap an opponent off. This is when Rod Tang will use his gamesmanship, taunting his opponents as they circle to engage him on his terms in the centre cage. I think this is a combination of his personality, ego, as well as a tactic because he wants to have exchanges. If the opponent bites on the bait, then Rod Tang saves himself time and energy, not having to constantly find his opponent and get into range. Confidence is built through experience, and Rod Tang has an abundance of both. Another part of Rod Tang's gamesmanship, which may raise a few eyebrows, is when he allows his opponents to land shots. Long term, this probably isn't great, but it definitely plays a part in sapping an opponent's energy, causing mental fatigue as they feel like they can't hurt their adversary. In order to generate power, for the most part, you need to sit down on your shots and plant your feet. The downside to this is it can leave you more stationary to counter shots. Rod Tang doesn't seem to mind this though, as he's extremely confident in his own power and will happily take one to land one. With the addition of 4 ounce gloves in 1FC Muay Thai fights, this favours Rod Tang's power punching style. Less padding on the gloves equals more damage inflicted to the opponent. As much as Rod Tang may appear to be a reckless brawler, particularly in the highlights, he is a great technician. He has brilliant punch into kick combinations and mixes up head, body and leg strikes fluidly. Part of what makes Rod Tang so hard to fight is he is always ready to counter and keeps himself in position to do so. Most of his defence revolves around blocking punches and then waiting to catch a kick, when the opponent is then off balance and Rod Tang can pull them into a power punch, doubling the power of the technique. This can make it extremely difficult to deal with his pressure, as when you attack, he instantly makes you pay. It's like a tennis rally, it's about who finishes the rally last that generally wins and Rod Tang will always try to ensure he is the last one to throw a technique. With his incredible durability, almost like he can't be hurt, opponents often break due to his presence. He is always there and will always be ready to counter. This fear of the counter sometimes causes opponents not to commit fully to their own shots making it weaker and adding to the belief of Rod Tang being too strong. He is a formidable opponent to face, using his wealth of fight and training experience to impose his will. This style can be beaten. It's actually less challenging than fighting a tricky Fumur like Sanchai, as Rod Tang can be hit. When you can land shots, there is always hope, but easier said than done when the consequences of his counters can be so severe. Despite him being known for aggression, Rod Tang is a very complete fighter. He is well versed in all areas, he just chooses to fight in the manner he does. 
He has success doing so, and he's aware the fans enjoy the excitement he brings. One FC has given him the platform to become a superstar, and he is making the most of every opportunity given. Once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more like this, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you from Pro Striking.